floating around in my head for a while and I thought what better way to unveil it than create a series out of it. So I am taking on a little challenge of I want to replicate and knit vintage knitwear because I just I love vintage clothing and I use that inspiration in the garments that I make for my business and for myself. I thought why don't I start working on making more vintage knitwear because I mean I have some knitwear but I could always have more you know. So I started you know doing a bit of research and googling going through like Pinterest and things and I actually have a piece that I'm really interested in and would like to try. So I came across this website it's called the Vintage Pattern Files and it's just this absolute smorgasbord of vintage knitwear patterns I think ranging from the 1800s which is insane um, all the way up until the 1980s so I have been absolutely scaring this website bookmarking a whole bunch of different patterns but the one that really caught my eye was this three hour sweater which I'll pop up on screen here so you can see it it has this really beautiful like ribbed waist ribbed cuffs and then rib detail at the neckline and the top of the sleeves it's very classic and I just I'd like to make it and the fact that it's called the three hour sweater is very intriguing uh, because I don't think I could really knit anything in three hours maybe except for like a beanie or something but a whole garment is pretty interesting <laughs> um, the blurb on it says fascinating and most popular Three hours of knitting and presto, you have a smart garment your friends are sure to admire. <laughs> That's really sweet. So I'm very interested in this. Now, I've had a quick look at the pattern, which I'll link below if you're interested in making this too. Um, I've seen it on Ravelry as well. The pattern itself is for a size 16. Um, and being a vintage pattern, I think if I scale it down to today's sizing, it's more than likely going to be like a AU12 maybe. So... We're just going to play around with the stitches this morning and just see if we can make it fit my body. Okay, so that is a 10 ply wool. What I have on hand here is 8 ply and then 2 ply mohair, so that's actually perfect. 5 mil, 6 mil, and 4.5 mil, all in different uh, <laughs> forms. And it says the 5 mils used for the ribbing. And then we're supposed to switch to the 10 mil for the body, which it seems very loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple quick test swatches. I don't have a gauge on this pattern, so we're just going to, you know, see how we go. Alrighty, so we've settled on what size needle I want to use for this project. Um, I really liked the four and a half ribbing. I think that just looks really neat and tidy. The five just looks a little bit loose and not very nice. Um, but the five knit and pearl, just like your normal knitting, it looks really nice. But for this top, I sort of did one. It seems to be a bit more open weave. So I've decided to go with the six. So it's a little bit looser, a little bit chunkier, and hopefully we'll knit up a whole bunch faster. Uh, in this supposed three hour project. Um, so that was really fun. That was just my quick swatch. Um, it's a really quick and easy way just to see, you know, what size needle looks best and having it all on one piece just makes it visually more easy to see than me knitting them on a bunch of different needles, having to cut the wool and just gets a bit messy. So that's my little hot tip. I just do one test swatch. Now I've decided on the size of my needles the gauge looks good. I'm super happy with that. I don't actually think I'm going to start this three hour challenge today um, because I have some other things I need to get done. So I am going to put a pin in this. I will make some notes of my knitting plans in my book. And yeah, we will attempt this tomorrow. I will see you then. hello welcome back to the bed so we are going to start the three hour sweater challenge this morning 
Um, I say three hour because I did a little bit more reading last night and almost every post, and there wasn't really that many to be honest, but almost every post I found, um, people saying it took them up to 10 hours. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so to start off, I have uh, rolled my yarn into balls. I did that this morning. So we're going to start with the back. And yeah, I've got a little timer set on my tablet just to have a visual aid so I can get more and more stressed that uh, <laughs> I need to knit faster. No, we're not going to do that. We want this finished product to be perfectly wearable. Um, if I make a mistake, I'm obviously going to go back and fix it. We are not going to rush this. This is more of a, a fun little challenge. So I am going to cue my movie up to keep you know my brain busy and I've got my three hour timer so let's get started remaining and I think I've done a third of the waistband for the top um I know ribbing does take a while because you're constantly flicking between pearl and knit but uh yeah let's just see how this goes <laughs> minutes in and I've just finished the waistband <laughs> this is where I can redeem myself with some time I think because this will be super easy and brainless so switching to our bigger needles we're using six mils this was four and a half so we're just going up a bit and let's go quick quick <laughs> Thank you. 
are one hour down, two to go, and we have done this much knitting. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're doing well though. It's looking, it's looking cute. It's looking tiny. One hour mark one hour remaining um, and I still haven't finished the back piece so let's see if I can magically just finish this sweater in the next hour here we go two one <gasps> yay oh, amazing so we've definitely finished um, you know it's been three hours so I think let's do the reveal let's go outside Okay, so it's been three hours working on our three hour sweater and um, we're all done. So I'm just going to share with you now the finished product. Are you ready? Uh, Ta-da! Yep. That's it. Three hour sweater. Um, so not quite done. <laughs> sort of nowhere near being done to be honest. Um, I don't know how you could possibly knit a little sweater top in three hours uh but you know we've made good process um we've almost finished the back and it's very curled over at the moment it's pretty small so i'm really interested how this actually turns out um not going to change anything to do with the pattern i'm just going to continue on finish the front and the sh um, sleeve sew it all together i am going to time the rest of it i may not film it because i am curious to see how long exactly this takes so Hopefully next time I see you, I will actually have a finished three hour sweater. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this deconstructed top. <laughs> um, so we're, fa we're finished. We're finally finished with all of the knitting aspect of the top. Now we do need to assemble it and that's going to factor into our total top completion time. So I'll just bring this over. I hope this is clear. I wrote it really big, but we'll see. Um, so for the back, this back portion it took me a total of three hours and nine minutes so I think I already made a joke about this in an earlier clip but just knitting this back section took almost the entire expected time of making the top so there's that um so that's the back and then I'll just move the sleeves out of the way for the front section it took three hours and 34 minutes um I think these are near identical up until obviously like the v-neck opening 
Um, I think the reason that it took a little bit longer also for the top is just doing this part, which is a bit different, obviously, because you have to mirror them front. And now for the sleeves, I don't know which one came first, but the first sleeve took sleeve. <laughs> the first sleeve took me uh, an hour and 21 minutes. And the second one, I was a little bit quicker. It was an hour and 14. So yeah, a few little flaws here and there, but that's fine. The mohair tends to cover up any flaws with its fluffiness. So total time to make just the knitted portion of this top was nine hours and 15 minutes. So now we're going to do construction. So I, there's not really clear construction, uh, constructions. There's not clear instructions on the pattern itself, but from previously knitting, you know, together pieces like this, we can assume that certain points will be sewn together first, followed by the next and the next and the next. So it's my understanding that these will connect at the points, which leaves a very tiny little neck hole. Hmm. I also do need to give these a quick steam just to help with the curling. So I will do that in just a second, but I just wanted to quickly show you uh, a rough outline of how we're going to connect these. So I just wanted to sort of see, I just, in my head, I don't really understand the shapes that are going on here. It's very curious. Um, so that's our two points where we would connect. And I feel like we're just, we're wrapping around the back of that. I don't really understand how this fits in. And then that would connect to that, I'm thinking. So they don't actually connect directly to the back. It'll connect like that on the sides and then like that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give this a quick steam. Um, I've just finished sewing up all of these pieces now. It's not perfect. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I really don't know what happened there. But um, to finish off this pattern anyway, we're going to do a crocheted edge along the neck. We're going to do a crocheted edge along the neckline, so I should be able to disguise that. <laughs> um, so all that's left now is to sew up the sides of the body and sew up the seam, seam on the sleeve. And yeah, I've now sewn up all of the sides on the little tiny <laughs> sweater. Um, I'll just cut those little loose threads off. And then the last step is just crocheting a single chain trim around the top and adding little ties so you can tie it up and make it cute. So I'm going to quickly do that. Um, the sewing together took probably about maybe an hour and a half, I think, roughly. But yes. Let's quickly crochet it and then we're going to try it on. with this project and I'm actually really happy with the result to be honest um, it is very form-fitting I have to say um, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at my arms at all it feels quite comfortable there it's overall a really comfortable top it is quite cropped so I paired it with this super cute 
wool high-waisted striped skirt um, which I think pairs pretty perfectly actually with the top um, the little tie I just did a simple single chain crochet and then just went around the neckline with that which covered up my small mistakes at the shoulders um, overall I'm actually really happy with how this top turned out I definitely think I'll make it again um, and maybe just alter the pattern slightly so going back to the pattern of course this project is titled the three hour sweater did this take me three hours absolutely not it almost took me four times as long to make this top so overall I did nine hours and 15 minutes of actual knitting time um, sewing each piece together took me roughly an hour and a half and crocheting this little neckline about 20 minutes I think so in total drum roll please it took me 11 hours and 5 minutes to construct this top. So not 3 hours. No, we need 3 hours. I'm not really sure where the gimmicky title came from. Maybe there's some absolutely elite speed knitters out there that can whip this up in 3 hours and be done. This is not a 3 hour project for myself, unfortunately. Now sizing wise for this pattern, of course the sizing on the pattern says size 16. And I don't know where the source is for this pattern or what their size chart. There's a bird outside. Hey. Um, I don't know what the size chart is for this particular pattern or the company that made the pattern. But in modern sizing, um, I'd say it's a size 6 using my 4.5mm needles for the ribbing. And for the body, I used 6mm needles and with about 10 ply wool. If you want to make this yourself keep that in mind that it is quite a small top now in saying that as well of course i use different size needles because i wasn't sure how i could use a 10 mil needle with the suggested yarn weight so i went for a six mil needle with a 10 ply yarn weight um if that helps you amazing if not i'm very sorry um you could absolutely probably increase the stitches on this pattern and you know modify it to fit your body i don't know if it's worth it though to be honest i think there's amazing um, modern day version of this top that you could make with easy to read patterns which allows more size variation i'll be sure to link some down below if you are interested in making this sort of 1930s style sweater vest top thing but yeah overall i'm super pleased with how this came out i think i will make it again and i think i will definitely uh make some adjustments but yeah it's pretty cute i think in cotton for summer this would be an absolutely gorgeous little top very like boho-esque with little ties but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope maybe you learnt something or at least you enjoyed watching me suffer <laughs> if you feel like liking this video please do so subscribing if you feel like it and chucking a comment down below if you so please bye there are beds everywhere right now Little tiny, tiny bird. Oh, he's so small. Oh, he's on the rock. Can you see him? Hey. <laughs>